Today, we'll be discussing law of sines and law of cosines. The law of sines. Let's start out by writing out the equation. It states sine of A, this is the angle A over side A is equal to sine, angle B over side B is equal to sine, angle C, sine, um, side C. So let's start with an example. If we get a triangle which has given one pair of opposite sides, which is what these are, this um, side A is opposite to the angle big A. So let's draw a triangle first, actually. So this is angle A, B, and C. The corresponding sides are B, A, and C here, like that. So let's start with an example. Say we have a triangle with two angles that have been given, 75 degrees and 45 degrees. And one side is given, and that side is 5. So we would, write, we would start out by writing sine 45 over the opposite side 5 and we want to find this side so what is the value of that? so we start by writing sine 45 over 5 is equal to sine 75 over B and we cross multiply so you get sine 45 times B is equal to 5 times sine 75. Now sine 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. And sine 75, if we're plugging on a calculator, is approximately 0.9659. So if we multiply 0 0.9659 by 5, we get approximately 4.8296. Now to solve for b, we divide both sides by square root of 2 over 2, and we achieve that b is square root of 2 divided by 2 and we get B is approximately 6.830. Now let's do an example involving the law of cosines. There are three formulas of the law of cosines, but you only really need to know one. Let's start with the first. Um, A squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. And then the next one would be b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of b. The last one is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. Let's do an example of this. So this is more useful when you get a triangle and two adjacent sides and the angle between them is given. So an example of this would be 4, 10, two adjacent sides and the angle between them is 60 degrees. Now if we solve for this we would have to use um, we can use any one of these, but if we label this A, B, and C, this would be big C, A, and B. So we should use a third one here. Okay, so C squared is what we have to find. 
So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Just copy that to here. c squared is equal to a squared is 4 squared plus b squared is 10 squared minus 2. a is 4 times b which is 10 cosine of 60. c squared is equal to 16 plus 100 minus 2 times 4 times 10 and cosine of 60 is actually 1 half so c squared is equal to 116 minus this is 8 times 10 which is 80 divided by I mean multiplied by 1 half which is 40 and that is c squared is equal to 76, so c is equal to the square root of 76 or 2 square root of 19. So we found the third side. Now we can find even the area of the triangle using Heron's formula.